Dr. Marcus Grompe. I'm the head of the Pape Family Pediatric Research Institute and the Oregon Stem Cell Center here at OHSU. We have sort of three major areas in which we do research. One is pediatric cancer, the other one is pediatric brain health or neuroscience, and the third one is cell and gene therapies. The kind of work we do has its biggest impact in that we are continuously working on new medical therapies. So we've actually had three pretty big discoveries come together. One is the finding that there are actually four different kinds of insulin producing beta cells. We also found out how a drug called oxymethylone works. It's always been a mystery. Then the third one is that we now understand what liver cells do when they're injured. I first came here in 1979 as a medical student because this was one of the best places in the US and in the world. When you start a research project, you don't actually know what the impact's gonna be. You can't predict ahead of time. And in many cases, uh, it's surprising what comes out of the research on very rare conditions. What's unique about our research is that we work on therapeutic approaches that haven't been tried before. So the opportunity to discover things that no other human has known before is just thrilling and that's what gets me up in the morning. One of the nice things about what I call West Coast science is that people are generally very collegial and open-minded and aren't worried about hiding their discoveries from their colleagues. I had a chemistry lab in high school. A friend and I, um, at age 12, decided was started with one of those chemistry kits. Once the experiments in the kit were done, we started buying chemicals and test tubes and stuff and set up our own chemistry lab. There were a few explosions, yes, but I have to say we, were, we, we uh, attempted to be serious. I just love that kind of work and research.